hi guys it it is quite time since i made my last video and uh, this video i would want to just quickly cover on prism reference point um, very important to know for all of us so let us quickly get into progressive lenses and in particular prism re reference point so as you know uh, the general layout of a progressive lens what we are seeing here is a fitting cross we have prism reference point and we have near reference circle now prism reference point uh, generally um, this fitting cross can be 2 mm about this it can be 4 mm about this or it can be on prism reference point as well it depends on manufacturer and there is a uh, different manufacturer with different standard setting of prism reference point and the fitting cross but generally the purpose of prism reference point is not to determine the distance between the engraving and the fitting cross the prism reference point actually indicates what is the prism being grounded on a progressive lens. So agenda for today's video would be mainly on four areas. Why prism is grounded on a progressive lens? That is one. Second one, how much of the prism can be grounded on a progressive lens? The type of prism that will behave in front of, front of the eye when prism is grounded on a progressive lens. And the fourth and the final point would be on measuring the progressive lens prism and the tolerance. Every progressive lens has prism grounded on its surface. The main reason for prism being grounded is very simple. As you can see image one here, the first diagram here, you can see that progressive lenses will have a front curve, but in modern progressive it is not that steeper but it will have a curve which is like on top it is flatter and very steep at the addition and this generally gives leads to a blank which has unequal edge thickness okay generally the top of the progressive lens has higher thickness compared to the bottom and unequal thickness and this calls for something called prism thinning or equithinning and if the prism is grounded on the lens then you should be having a prism reference point remember progressive addition lens has multiple optic points and that's the reason prism reference point is there on the lens now how this equithinning happens is as you can see the diagram 2 basically a part of a prism is removed as you can see this particular segment in the third diagram it is very ob obvious that a prism is removed so basically what we are doing is a base up prism is actually being removed and base down prism is left over in the lens so basically a base of prism if removed from the lens then the top portion of the progressive lens and the bottom near addition portion of the progressive lens almost become equal now this additional part of the prism which is removed from the lens will actually result in having a thin lens and less overall weightage of the progressive lens so a basic progressive lens which will have a thicker portion at the top thinner portion at the bottom and as we do a prism thinning or equithinning which we call your progressive lenses will become of almost equal thickness at the top and the bottom and this prism which has to be removed from the progressive lens again works on a simple formula so it was quite evident from the diagram that we ha are actually grounding a vertical prism on a progressive lens basically we are trying to bring uh, a base we are trying to ground a base down in such a way that base of prism is removed and we get a thin lens now how much has to be removed will depend on number one is your distance power Number two will be your addition. Number three will be your fitting height. So these are the major points which will be required to keep in mind if one is going to do ground a prism. Basically a simple formula used by the manufacturer is we say 0 0.6 okay 0 0.6 into addition. Now this is the amount of prism which has been done on the progressive lens or we also call it, call it as two-third of an addition two-third of add power now this is the amount of prism which is being grounded on progressive lenses to ensure that 
lenses shed off the additional thickness and the weight that is there because of the profile. In order to find out the prism reference point, as you can see, see from the diagram, we have the two black permanent marking, which we call it as micro etching or a watermark on the progressive lens. A layout chart can be used to plot these and exactly in the center of that you will find prism reference point. Now you need to plot prism reference point on both the lenses and then you can use this green center dot, place it on the lensometer to read what is the prism grounded on your progressive lenses. You need to compare right eye and left eye, analyze and then you can look for the tolerances. So it is clearly evident that because we are grounding a vertical prism, we have vertical yoked prism. That means both the lenses will have vertical prism grounded on it. Now if there is a prism then we need to check for the tolerance, we need to see what impact it has. So basically there is a study done by Shidi and Persons and the study was about vertical yoke prism and patient acceptance and postural adjustment. Now I have just given you a quick uh, numbers to figure out. Up to 2 diopter of prism there was no significant effect because of prism. But when the prism was 4 and above, the prism was rejected by every subject, every test subject who were in the study. So basically what we have to do is, there is a prism reference point on the progressive lens. We need to check that the prism has to be under 4 diopters. Okay, if the prism crosses this, then it becomes out of tolerance and if there is an even prism difference between right and the left lens, which is more than 0.33 or say 0.5 diopter of prism, then again the subject will have vertical imbalance and this vertical imbalance will go nearly out of tolerance and there will be a problem in adapting to a progressive lens. So prism reference point is a uh, a major point which we have to consider at times uh, because of modern technologies now the prisms are well under control and prisms are grounded keeping in mind all this logics all this research but still for us to rule out that the adaptation is because of the prism then you need to check all these points so to quickly conclude a take home message for all of you uh, basically why prism in the progressive addition lens yes obviously it is to reduce the thickness how much of the prism can be incorporated in the progressive lens it has to be 0.6 into add modern manufacturers do auto calculation for this type of prism basically it is a vertical yoke prism which is grounded on a progressive lens the impact on both right and left which will be will be vertical yoked prism and the tolerance it should be under 4 diopter between the two eyes it should be max 0.5 diopter of prism. I hope you had clarity on the prism reference point. Prism reference point in, in it itself is a very important area in the progressive lens. Uh, it helps in many uh, complex progressive troubleshooting. Uh, all you have to do is start practicing it, compare the prism values and it is going to help you understand better. It will help you dispense better. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching it completely. Thank you and see you again. Bye for now.